Hi sewers, welcome to So Darn Fun. I'm Carrie, and this is a channel about quality clothing alterations, pattern reviews, and useful sewing how-tos. Today's project is how to do a faux fly. Before we start, I just want to make sure that we're all on the same page in knowing that a faux fly is just that. It is fake. So make sure that you have a way to get those pants on either through elastic waistband or invisible side or back zipper because the faux fly is not a replacement for a zipper. So make sure that your pants can get on. This is just for looks. So let's get to it. So I'm going to put in a faux fly. Why? Just because I like it. So if you want to follow along and do a faux fly, you need two pieces of fabric. Four inches by seven and two inches by seven. First, let's take the two inch wide piece and just finish off one of those edges. I'm gonna use a serger. You don't have to use a serger, but this is what I have, so. And then for the wide piece, you're gonna fold this one in half lengthwise. Putting wrong sides together. You can zigzag this if you don't have a serger. So now this one is folded and this one just has one finished edge. Give the folded one a nice press. Here are my center front pieces, right sides together. And for the length of my faux fly uh, pieces that I've already cut that are seven inches long, I'm gonna make a mark six inches down from the waist down the center front. Before I stitch this area, I am going to finish off with my serger these front edges. My center fronts are now finished and ready to go. So let's mark that again. Let's mark that six inches and we'll sew this portion here. The seam is now sewn. I'm gonna open up the front of my pants and you can see the opening here. And I'm gonna take my folded piece, the wide one that I folded in half and line it up with, I'm gonna do this side, which is going to be the left front. You can do the other side if you want your faux fly to open the other way, but being that it's not a usable fly, I don't see how it's gonna matter. And you can see right here at the bottom, this is longer than my opening, that's on purpose. So I'm going to stitch down my seam allowance is three eighths of an inch. I'm going to stitch all the way down till I meet right there. Then I'm going to stop. Here's what we've done so far. We've just sewn this on. Let's get a close up of where we stopped, right there. It's actually about a stitch or two above that opening, but that's okay. Now, for the short piece here, we're gonna put the raw edge right sides together, and I'm gonna stitch this side in the same way, stopping as close as I can to this point here. I'll be back when that's done. Here's what we have so far. This is what we've done. Now, I'm gonna press this to the inside. Actually, I'm gonna turn it this way, inside out, from the wrong side. Sometimes I find that if I press the seam open, it folds better on the seam. I don't know why. Uh, 
on this side here, the one that we had folded in half, I'm going to press the seam allowances both to the right, this way, and I'm going to top stitch like a sixteenth of an inch away from that folded edge on that side. Be right back. With this side top stitched, I'm going to fold this one in front of it. And notice the back side, these flaps just neatly come to the back and overlap each other. So that's what the back looks like. So we're going to overlap this how I want it, just barely, barely overlapping this fold right here where it's stitched. I'm going to pin it. We're just holding it in place here. Now, you can feel with your hand you've got this much room where you've got both of these folded back here. Now you know we need to draw a line with some chalk because we're going to do the top stitching as for a fly, like on a pair of jeans. Typically, it is an inch from the fold, sometimes a little bit more. And with those pins there, it's kind of a little hard to lay my ruler down. I think I will take that top one out. about where my stitching starts here but where it's open here I'm gonna mark that little spot yeah right there because this is where it needs to curve up to meet that line there I'm gonna to go top stitch this with the same thread and then I'll show you what it's like when it's all done. And the last thing that we'll have to do is optional, but I'm going to do it. See these raw edges? I'm just gonna serge all of these layers together to make it nice and neat. Top stitching is done. Let's take these pins out and press out this chalk line. There we go. See, it doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> It is faux. Now to finish this off. I like to hide my surged ends by taking a blunt ended needle with a big eye. And <laughs> when these surging threads come apart, it's kind of hard to get through, but just keep working at it. There we go. And hide all those threads inside there. That way it's nice and neat. Same for the other side. Yeah, that's nice. Now our full fly is all done. See, it looks like it's got a zipper, but it really doesn't. I like that. I just love the way that it looks on this pair of pants. It looks like there's a zipper there, but there's not. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode of So Darn Fun. And don't forget to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, because I might come out with a video that you would be particularly interested in. And remember, keep on sewing.